So I define partnership as when people cooperatively contribute value uh, towards a common mission. Partnerships are about agility, being able to tackle more complex issues, bigger opportunities. But I think what makes the best partnership is that they're able to make more progress by working together than they would by working alone. In order for individuals and businesses and communities to be strong, we need to make sure that we are working together. And the work that we do here in the department, in the area of economic development, in the area of workforce development, all happens because of partnerships. We exist together. We really do share a community. We share a labor force. We share a collective set of aspirations that we want everyone to thrive here. We've got to see the common agendas that we all have. We need to continue to invest in the partnerships that allow the cities, the counties, the educational institutions, our large corporate partners, and our thriving entrepreneurial ecosystem to connect and work together to continue to grow and expand. We've had a transformational opportunity to invest uh, in North Minneapolis and the ability to bring our world headquarters to the southeast corner of Penn and Plymouth. And that would not have been able to happen if it wasn't for a really intentional lean-in from a variety of partners in what I would call the healthy community. It takes businesses like ours willing to do it who are looking for both uh, economic as well as social return. When a company locates in one place, the workers, the employees for that organization come from all over the region. And so when you have that mindset, any municipality or city I hope would think, gosh, we just want the company in this area, our region. When a company or, or talent looks at coming to, whether it's Minneapolis or St. Paul or any of our surrounding communities, they're not just looking at one factor. They're looking at really, you know, the holistic experience. An essential element of that is not simply that there are jobs. An essential element is that the whole ecosystem in which those people come to work is prospering. Great restaurants, great transportation systems, great arts, all of that is essential. And when you think about that concept of live, work, and play, it doesn't always happen in the same place. And so when you have a region working together that is tapping into all of those pieces, everybody wins. And so, sure, one partner can have an agenda that's different than the other partner's agenda, as long as there's something above those agendas that they really do have a mutual interest in. The basis of competition for cities going forward is their ability to attract, develop, and retain very, very talented people in all aspects of life. It's okay to cooperate and compete at the same time, as long as you are constantly expanding the pie and pursuing your partnerships in a way that allow you to be agile and just create enough value that in the end, you are all better off for having partnered. If I had to put forward a vision for the greater MSP region, it would be that we would want to be a global destination for businesses and individuals uh, who are committed to solving food, water, health, and finance challenges as a foundation for ensuring that all people prosper in this region. You know, I think we need to be bold, but think about the whole world. Not just what will make us attractive in the upper Midwest. What will make us attractive globally? <laughs>